And so that last verse there, which is so essential, let us come boldly then, therefore, into his presence. Um, because that is where we're going to obtain mercy. We're going to obtain grace just when we need it, whenever we need it, because now we have that bold access to him. There is no longer that partition anymore. That curtain has been torn down. We now have free access to him because we believe in him. That cannot be taken from us. Our high priest now is permanent. And our access to him is permanent, our bold, and we, and it is a bold access. And that is what I wanted to talk about for the remainder of our time here is, and Ismenia touched on it, on this bold access that we have because of who is in us. And Ismenia said it. Do who do we see when we look in the mirror? I want to read something that I discussed. What I learned, something I learned, interesting, and I can't even repeat it to you um, like I would like to, but because um, it was kind of technical. But our DNA has a code. Jesus. God is written into us. The code is actually 1563. And the code is also in, it, going to say it also in Hebrew, Sanskrit, and Aramaic. This 1563 here, this, this number. But what that is, and it is actually the same code, which is, in, is encoded in the top layer, the outer layer of all our DNA. And the, in the word, it, the words are God eternal within the body. It's literally encoded in us who we belong to. It's a label. <laughs> We've been labeled in our very DNA who created us and who is in us. God eternal. Most of us can't even wrap our minds around that we're walking around. We are literally carrying the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in us. You know, the kingdom of God is at hand. We can say that because that is what's in us. It's why we have, you know, this, this high priest, this bold access. It's right here. It's in us. And we, we should be walking around knowing we're carrying the kingdom in us. Our job is to please him, not man. You know, and, and to, to be future looking. Because he has, this earth is not our home. He's going to prepare a place for us. We're going home to him. But our job is to tell everybody about that, that we can. We can hasten that. It, it really is. He doesn't come again until the gospel has been gone, gone to the whole world. All the nations, it's Matthew 24, 14, I think. And how does it happen? Through us. And uh, once we understand that we are kingdom, the kingdom is in us, who we are, written in our very DNA. I've been telling him, you know, if you have been on any of the social, well, Twitter specifically, and seeing the evil that is out there and how people, I mean, the entertainment society, the uh, uh, entertainment world, uh, the uh, music world, most of them, the more you, the more you research, the, most of them have sold their souls for money, fame, wealth, um, my soul, I've given it to him. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And um, I was telling, I've been telling him that. I have been telling that all along. But, I, you know, you have my soul, Jesus. Nobody else gets it. I don't, it doesn't matter what this earth is like, you know. 
We are looking to him. I'm kind of on a platform here, but I'm wanting to impart on you the importance of what you're carrying around in you. You know, we are the temple of God. And not only that, we're the temple of God, but we still make choices. So we'll, the more we've been anointed, the, the temple is, we, the, the spirit is in us. But sometimes we choose other things over the spirit, right? And so when we do that, it weakens the power of the anointing in us because we're maybe in some disobedience over here. There's some things that the spirit would like us to let go of, let, let go of so that he can, so that the Lord can come up here and be first in our lives. When he's first in our life, the power that's in us can come out because we all have that in us, but we're making choices. And um, myself included, you know, we, we, there's things where when we can come into alignment with him, that manifestation, it says, when we're in obedience, that's when the full manifestation of the presence of the Lord will discover. And when he can break through us. Yeah. 